continuing on what we were discussing the last time in our previous video, we wanted to continue with some of the things that are pagan that we might not want to continue in, like the pagan names of the days of the week. A lot of people don't know what they are saying. They just hear them, their parents, their teachers, everybody's using them. What do you think? They're just sounds. They're just to, sounds. To, you know, I, I woke up to the fact that they were actually saying the name of a deity that they were honoring by naming this day after that deity. Yeah, they even put an apostrophe S saying it's that deity's name mm -hmm. and th that deity's day. It's, uh, it's really not going to be around when he comes back. I mean, there won't be any voodoo shops or witch places. There won't be any tarot cards or Ouija boards, and there won't be any voodoo stuff. And uh, There won't be anybody running around saying, hey, it's the day of the sun, or the sun day. They won't be saying that. The thunder idol, fifth day of the week, uh-uh, it's, it, it's gone when he comes back. As far as we're concerned, it's already gone. Shemoth or Exodus 23.13 tells us, Do not let them be heard on your lips, which also seems repeated at Psalm 16.4, nor take their names on my lips. That, that's referring to the habit of uh, making a boast or a toast to deities. Yeah, people do that. They lift up a, a drink, usually an alcoholic drink, and they boast or toast to the honor of a deity, a person, or an endeavor, and they're invoking something that they shouldn't be invoking. And we can't even learn to do that to honor Yahuwah with. He said, don't worship me in their way either. So you don't raise a, gra a glass of wine or anything to toast or boast in anything, but let him who boasts boast in this, that he knows me. And that's what Yahuwah wants us to think about. We don't need wine uh, offerings to do that. You know, something that some people don't think about, when other people use the word nature, mm. like mother, in, this, this is giving credit of the creation to a pagan deity. Mm -hmm. It's an anthropomorphic approach. They are deifying and personifying the environment as if it has a consciousness. You know. And uh, what was it we were talking about? Wasn't it his brother? They called James. His name is Yakub. At verse, at chapter three, verse ten. He says, it ought not to be that the words of your mouth would be used for offering praises or blessings to Yahuwah, and also using that same mouth to curse with. So we don't want to also mix up pagan deities' names with it either. Is that what you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want, we, the pollu the, a polluted stream is one where both pure water and polluted water flow out of. We wouldn't want to drink from that. And we wouldn't want to offer it to him. Because our lips are now the altar of our praises, and we don't want to take the names of pagan deities on our lips. We don't want them to be heard from our mouth. I think that does it. You know, I just want to say one thing. Mm -hmm. It's almost like waking up from a dream mm -hmm. and realizing that this has been going on. You I know, know. Yeah. undercover almost. Yes, and oh, there was a secret that he was talking about, and it didn't make a lot of sense to us at first, but it, he was saying, therefore take heed what, how you hear, for whoever possesses to him more shall be given, and whoever does not possess, even what he thinks he possesses will be taken from him. And he's talking about things that the teaching authority had kept hidden from the crowd his name, but also the fact that you hear things now that you did not hear before. So when you were a child, you did things that a child does, and you don't know because you're innocent. But as you learn, you become responsible. 
Well, thanks for watching us. And remember to like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.